Hello all, welcome to Tech Tapture. So in our previous video, we already seen what is a cloud run function, some overview about a cloud run function and cloud run function history. Then we created a simple cloud run function with cloud run first generation as well as the cloud run function second generation. Okay, and we just created a cloud function with HTTP trigger. Okay, now in this video, we are just going ahead and we are creating a simple demo with the GCS trigger and we'll create our first GCS trigger cloud function. So let's see what we are going to do in this video. So what we'll do, we'll just create a kind of a demo project here. So over here, we'll just simulate this project where one user will upload file to the storage bucket and then the storage bucket file upload will trigger a cloud function and this cloud function is having one Python function to check the file size okay and if the file size is greater than 2 MB it will just move to the another bucket kind of invalid files or kind of the large files bucket okay and if the size is less than 2 MB then this file is good for processing and it will just keep the file in the same bucket so it will not do anything if the size is less than 2 MB but suppose this application is not able to handle the size which is greater than 2 MB then it will just simply check the file size and then it will move to the destination bucket invalid folder okay so this is the simple demo we are going to create so first we'll create our cloud function code then we'll go to google cloud console and we'll just see how we can create this storage bucket for source and destination and then we'll try to test our demo okay so let me go to the google cloud console and i'll start creating my function now so i am in my google cloud console so let me go to the cloud run function we already created a couple of function here so this we created in last video where we created the cloud function first generation as well as the second generation cloud run function okay and both are the http triggers you can see both are http trigger and you can see my previous video if you just want to know more about the first generation and second generation and how to trigger the HTTP trigger cloud function you can just refer my previous video okay so now in this video we are going to create a cloud function with a Google Cloud storage bucket trigger okay so I'll just simply go and click function and first let me show you what option we have when we want to use a GCS bucket trigger okay first let me create one storage bucket as well okay and now so what name we can give so I'll just give the name as a GCS trigger demo okay and instead of HTTPS trigger here we will go with the cloud storage Google cloud storage or cloud storage bucket now let me go to the buckets and let me create one bucket here first so there are multiple buckets we created in our previous videos while working on the data flow or working on the IAM so we created these multiple videos so let me just delete few of these videos so these are not required now so just delete this bucket Okay, let's find I'll just create a new bucket now. So for this I'll just give the name as BKT cloud function demo and I'll just give this is source bucket and just append with 000, zero, zero okay. So just bucket cloud function demo source zero 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 and I will just choose a region as US central one. Okay and I'll simply create my bucket okay that's fine our bucket is created now our cloud function is in US central one now make sure your cloud function and your storage bucket should be in the same region else it will throw an error okay so it should be in the same region now if I select the trigger type as a cloud storage it will by default get you the object v1 finalize method so here you have a multiple options either you can create cloud function when someone deleted the object when someone archived the object or someone finalized or someone just metadata updated if you want to 
create a cloud function whenever someone uploads the file then go with the v1 finalized okay so that means someone just uploaded the object to the storage bucket okay and now i will choose a bucket so as i said you have to choose a bucket which is in the same region of your cloud function else it will throw an validation error so we'll just go with the bucket okay so which we created now in the same region let's select it scroll down and here you should see you have to give set up, set up permissions error because i am creating the cloud function with the gc sticker for the first time in this project so you have to give some permissions okay for you can see different different roles and permissions you have to give so just do a grant all here while, while creating the function okay so it will have a required permissions and now we'll go to the next and first i will show you a default function code that how we can get the information about the event uh, let's choose a python 3.10 now one common question a lot of learners will get while working with the gcs bucket or cloud function with the storage bucket file upload that whenever we want to process the file using the cloud function so as soon as someone upload file to the storage bucket our cloud function will get triggered and it will do some kind of processing on the file but how cloud function will identify the file name because daily there might be a thousands of file and we have to process the file as soon as someone uploads the file then how cloud function will get the information about the file that which file is uploaded and which file to process so one thing understand here so whenever file is getting uploaded to the storage bucket it will generate some metadata and trigger event and that event is passed to your cloud function and it is kind of the json payload okay so this is kind of cloud event you can see is passed to your cloud function whenever it is getting triggered using the gcs trigger and you can get all this event data to get your information like you can get the bucket name from your event you can get the name of the file so i'll just print all this information with the file upload okay so i'll just show you how we can do that so i'm just creating the default function or function with the default code and i'll show you how we can get the information about the file which is just uploaded okay so in my code nowhere my file name is mentioned okay which file i'm going to upload so it can be any file name and i'll just deploy this default function with the gcs trigger okay so it will take a couple of minutes this is again the cloud run function second generation so it will deploy on the cloud run so it will take a couple of minutes so first it will build and then it will create the cloud run service and then it will create a trigger for us which is a gcs trigger so let's wait for a couple of minutes and then we'll refresh and see if our cloud function is deployed successfully now function is deployed successfully so let's do something i'll just upload a file in the storage bucket okay so which was our source bucket this is the source bucket so i'll just try to upload the file and we'll see if cloud function will print the name of the files which is available or that code we have written so i'll just upload one file so no name is learn google cloud.png so this is the name of the file and once uploaded it should display the logs in the logs here i'll just scroll down so at the end you will see the log so the currently time is 11:28 so you should see the log so just taking time for log reflect okay now you can see it printed the data so it is event id then event type storage object we want finalized event bucket name this is a bucket name we haven't mentioned bucket name in our code but it is just fetching from the event which triggered this cloud function and file name learn google cloud.png so it our trigger just passed all metadata to the cloud function and cloud function will use that metadata to work on the file okay so this was the simple concept i have to show you here that we can get the data from the function argument now let's create a function we want to create that check the file size and then move the file to the another bucket if file size is greater than 2 mb so now i have code in my vs code okay 
so this is my simple code so this is nothing but as we did so just it is getting the bucket name and file name from the metadata event metadata okay and then it is just creating the storage client object and then it is checking the file size okay e file size is more than 2 mb so this is bytes this is kilobytes megabyte and 2 megabytes so if a file size is more than 2 mb it will just move to the new bucket and just in the large file folders now which should be the new buckets we have to create one more bucket destination bucket so why we cannot move in the same bucket because if that file will be moved to uh, another bucket then it is fine if it, we are moving in the same bucket another folder then it will keep triggering our function in the loop because if it uploaded the file then again it will trigger the cloud function so we'll create one more function one more bucket not function and we'll give the name instead of source we'll just give the name as a destination okay so we'll just copy this name and we'll just create and here instead of src i'll just do dest which is destination okay i'll just copy this name continue region us central one and i'll simply create my bucket okay and this destination bucket i will use in my code so here invalid file bucket or destination bucket i'll give this name I'll see my code. So it is just checking the file size if it is greater than 2 MB, which we defined as a max size. If file size is greater than maximum size, which is 2 MB, then it will just move. It will check the file path and it will move to the our destination bucket. Okay. And if it is less than 2 MB, it will simply say it is less than 2 MB. No action taken. Okay. So this is the simple things we are going to do so let me just copy this code now and I will use in my function so bucket is also created let me create a new function I will give the name as check file ok and we will give storage bucket bucket I will select our source bucket ok next I have code in Python so I'll go with the Python 3.10 okay I'll just now replace with my code okay and here I am just importing the Google Cloud Storage so in requirement.txt I'll just add Google Cloud Storage as a Python library which will be required and the entry point you can see the specified function entry point might not be present in source code so currently it is hello gcs this is the warning which is very important so this is hello gcs but hello gcs function it's not available in our code so what is the name of the function we are having so we are having check file size and more this is our function name so we have to give entry point as our function name okay so this is a function and that warning is went away now and we simply deploy our function now and we can check the log of the function deployment in the logs okay so logs not populated it so it will take a couple of minutes again so I'll just wait for a couple of minutes okay build finished it is creating the service now once service is created it will create the event track trigger for our cloud function okay it's creating the event track trigger so function will be deployed soon okay function is deployed just validate the logs so each time we deploy the function it will just create the update function log entries and you can see now cloud function create function so it created successfully function name is check file size okay now it's time for checking if a function is working fine or not so I'll just open both the buckets side by side first I'll go to source bucket okay I'll go to source bucket and I'll upload one file so first I'll upload the file which is less than 2 MB okay I'll upload the same file again 
So I'll just upload the same file and I'll overwrite so it will create an entry. It's just like a fresh upload because the name is same. Okay, so it will immediately trigger a cloud function and we should see the logs. Let's go back to logs and now you can see the logs are till 2334. If I refresh, you will see the latest log for 35, 1135. Okay, now you can see a file learn Google Cloud PNG is within the size limit less than 2 MB, so no action taken. Now, one interesting stuff here, so it is difficult to understand when our function started and when it executed, so logging is very important. So currently, we haven't introduced any kind of detailed login here. What I will do now, I'll just go and add some logging here. I'll just edit a function, so I'll just add some kind of logging to understand if a function is started correctly okay so we'll just add some kind of print statement okay it's deployed now so let's go back again and upload a file here so we'll just upload file now Okay, I'll just upload another file, so I'll just upload image.png now this time. Okay. It's uploaded. Now let's check the log, so we should see a bit better log now. I'll just refresh, and in log we will understand now the when function got started and when it got ended. Okay, so function started at least we can see it entered the function function is started now and it just check file size is within the size limit no action taken function ended okay so at least it is visible and we can see all the functions now now let's go and now it's time for real demo so now I will just upload one zip file for size is more than 2 MB and then let's see if our code is working and it is moving file and immediately deleting from this bucket okay so I'll just upload the file okay once uploaded I'll just refresh okay now you are you can see a data flow zip file I uploaded here but it is not showing here why it is not showing because immediately it executed our code and it should have moved to destination bucket because the size is more than 2 MB now let me refresh and see if a file will be available here okay our file is here so it created a large file folder and it created and moved our file into a destination because file size is more than 2 MB let's check the logs now I'll just reload this page hope logs are visible to you so I'll just uh, zoom in a bit okay. yeah now you can see the function started okay uh, it is saying file data flow dot zip move to bucket destination bucket large file folder because it exceed a 2 MB so it means our function is working perfectly fine and now if you want to create a function for any other task you can simply change the code rest of the things will remain same you have to just add your logic what you want to what operation you want to perform on your file so hope you understood now how we can create a cloud function with the storage bucket trigger and how we can use this metadata file file processing okay so hope that is clear now so you try to do in your environment if you're stuck somewhere just let me know in comment section so i'll share this code as well i'll just share the link in the description so you can use the same code for demo and you can try your own code as well so that's it for this video and thank you for watching this video we'll see you again in our next video